Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today we're going to replace the screen on the Samsung S10. So the tools you're going to need are a PH000 bit, a razor blade of some sort, a plastic pick, a pry tool, a playing card, some adhesive, some glue, as well as some heat. And if you're using the glue, you definitely want some clamps. So the first thing you want to do is add some heat to the back of the phone. Well, technically the first thing you want to do is remove the SIM card tray. And I recommend going around the phone and then focusing on the bottom portion of it. So we add some heat and then we're going to use a flat blade to lift up the back just a little bit and put a playing card in between. Next we're going to use that playing card to cut through the adhesive. If it gets difficult, feel free to add some heat, just make sure not to add too much heat. So we're going to lift up the bottom portion, then the left and right side. Then when we get to the top, we're going to lift up the back kind of like shown. Just make sure not to add too much pressure or else the back could break. Then what we're going to do is add some heat to the top and slowly lift it up. Some adhesive might stick to the phone so you can cut through it like shown. The next thing we're going to do, you can remove this adhesive once you're done, but I'm going to remove it right now because the adhesive is a little bit warm and easier to remove. Next we're going to grab the PH000 bit and remove the 15 screws. Then we're going to use a pry tool to kind of pry in this area right here to lift up this plastic piece. And using that pried up area we're going to lift up the second plastic piece right here. Once we take that off we unplug the battery. And then we're going to grab the PH000 bit and remove these three screws. Make sure to put them in order, just like the back screws. Next, we're going to unplug the screen, the headset jack, and the front camera, as well as removing the front camera. Then we're going to lift right here and remove the logic board. Make sure to start at the top and lift up the charging port area last. Next, we're going to evaluate the screen that we have. In this case, I have the speaker and the vibrating mechanism all here. So all I need to remove is the headset jack and the battery. So for the headset jack, we're just going to pry in this little area and it should just come out pretty easily. And then for the battery, we're going to use a plastic pry tool. But if that doesn't work, then we want to use this metal pry tool. But remember to make sure to be careful around this battery because you don't want to puncture it. So I recommend doing short pries like this until the battery lifts up and then you want to get a plastic pick in there. Once you cut through one side of adhesive, you can just lift up the battery like shown and it should come out. Now I already have the vibrating mechanism on the new screen, but I'll show you how to remove it really quickly. Then I'll refer to my S10 Plus screen replacement video to show you how to remove the top speaker. And then we'll put it back. So now we have the new screen, we're going to put in the headset jack, and then we're going to set in the logic board starting with the bottom portion, and then moving up to the top portion. Then we're going to put the bottom two screws in and the screw that goes above the right camera. Next we're going to put it in the front camera because putting it in first is kind of annoying. At some point plug in the screen and then we're going to plug in the battery. And then we're going to set it back into the phone. I didn't have to put new adhesive on there but make sure to put new adhesive if your adhesive gets destroyed. And now we can put on the plastic piece. So make sure that your battery is plugged in if you unplugged it. And then put in the plastic piece starting with the bottom part. Add some screws to hold that in place and then we can put in the top part. Remember, if the screws don't line up, they're gonna be difficult to put in, so make sure that you line up the plastic piece perfectly. Once that's all good, remember to remove any adhesive that's on the back of this phone because we're gonna add our own adhesive. So what we're gonna do is just gonna cut right here, and then cut right here, cut on the top, and cut on the bottom. Then I'm gonna apply the remaining adhesive right here. 
Next thing you want to do is grab your glue and go around the edges where you put the adhesive, as well as some on the bottom and a little bit on the top. Then all you need to do is set the back down and apply some clamps to make sure that that back stays in place. Then we're going to let this sit for about 30 minutes, take off the clamps, clean up any adhesive that's stuck on the phone, and then we're all set. Also, remember to put the SIM card tray back in the phone. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at MattAvardiVR, and feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more repair videos as well as review videos. And hit that bell button so then YouTube actually reminds you when those videos do come out. Thanks for watching.